Senator Angus King criticizing the federal government's handling of nuclear waste, including here in Maine at a hearing earlier this week. The hearing was at the for the State Energy and Natural Resources Committee to discuss the proposed Nuclear Energy Leadership Act. The act aims to reestablish and develop U.S. leadership in nuclear energy. King says nuclear waste is still abundant, noting the remains still stored on the uh, Wiscasset, Maine Yankee plant that was shut down. We shouldn't be talking about new nuclear power plants until we talk about how we dispose of the waste, like at Maine Yankee, and are all, they're all over the country. Uh, and so I was sort of the skunk at the garden party at that hearing. I said, you guys got this backwards. Let's do the waste problem, and then we'll talk about new nuclear plants. King says he's not opposed to developing and expanding nuclear technology, but is asking that the government first address the questions of nuclear waste. Larry Wilkerson, the former chief of staff to Secretary of State Colin Powell, speaking at a press conference today before giving a talk titled, Has America Lost Its Way? Wilkerson served as chief of staff to Powell from 2002 to 20, uh, 2005. Today, he spoke about the U.S. going astray since World War II, saying the country is increasingly moving away from governing the way the founding fathers intended. We have become a state that lives for war. Our reason for existence is to make war on the rest of the world. That's not what the Founding Fathers set us up for. If it amounts to going to the streets, that's what we need to do. If it amounts to saying, I will not go into the military, that's what we need to do. If it amounts to a rebellion, that's what we need to do. Wilkerson went on to compare the current state of affairs in the U.S. to those before the two world wars. The biggest difference, he notes now, is the increasing prominence and threat of nuclear weapons in the, across the world. Still ahead here at 11, Senator Susan Collins calling for strength and security. Why those calls stem from the findings of the Mueller report.